cool tip is branching off of the tool slash tip that I talked about last week in my Tuesday tool tip. Last week, I talked about keeping hand lotion in your sewing basket, not just to keep your hands moisturized and healthy in those season changes, um, but also to keep your hands healthy and protected um, against that repetitive motion of hand sewing when the needle is putting pressure on your fingers. The tip I wanted to talk about today, again, branches off of that. Another way of helping to protect your hands as you work. I mentioned in that video, I think it was just in the title that I put at the bottom, um, that another way to help with this is to wear a thimble. Thimbles were traditionally made of some kind of metal um, that you would keep over usually your middle finger or your index finger, anywhere that you are, um, any finger that you're using to push your needle through the fabric. Because again, you're applying pressure and that pressure um, can damage your skin or just hurt your hand after a while, depending on how stiff or how tough that fabric is that you are working with. Today, I'm gonna to show you different types of thimbles. Um, I also mentioned in that video that I cannot abide thimbles. I, can't, I just can't wear them. I have tried all different kinds. Um, there is one that sort of works for me, but I know there are a lot of people in this boat. So I wanted to show you some options in case a different kind of thimble works for you. Now, I mentioned the metal thimbles. Thimbles are sized just like you would get um, a certain size ring for your finger. You can get a very specific size thimble for your finger. There are thimbles that will adjust to your fingers as well that have kind of an open back that you can squeeze closed around your finger. I've tried those. I do not like them. This is a very common thimble that you would see not gold like this. This just came part of the kit. I've actually given away most of my thimbles, um, but this is often what you would see. And the thimble where it has those indentations, and that's where the needle is going to sit as you push it through. That's why you see those impressions in thimbles. Um, again, you can get these sized um, so that it sits comfortably and sort of pressure fit around your finger, either your middle finger or your index finger, whichever finger you're using most often, again, to push that fabric through. So you can go with the more traditional finger cover um, style thimble. Another style that you might see are um, the fabric thimbles, um, which is kind of like a ring made out of, this one is leather that I just made myself out of some scrap leather, hide material, whatever I had laying around at the time. Um, this one is very much like a bracelet or a ring where it's just a loop of fabric. Again, that's very durable that your needle is not going to push through easily. And it is connected just by some, I think this is th um, not cat gut, um, but this is the kind of thread that comes covered with a wax coating. So this is very strong, durable type of thread. It's just knotted a couple times um, to help keep this ring of fabric sized exactly how I want it. I do come to this occasionally when I'm using, say, more upholstery weight material, something that I know is going to um, continually put pressure on my fingers. Um, so I will use this sometimes to avoid that uh, the pain of that because <laughs> putting that much pressure will hurt after a while, I guarantee. So when you're moving that through the fabric, notice that it's putting pressure on the material here instead of onto my finger directly. The last one I'm going to show you is one, actually I've seen quite a few people in um, different um, Chinese cultures use, and that's the metal version of the ring. Um, the ring, 
the one ring symbol to rule them all, um, which in my case it does. I use this one probably most often if I have to use the thimble. This one, again, because it is metal, uh, it does have those impressions right there in the all around the surface of that ring. Um, <clears throat> so I can um, push my needle through the fabric more easily. This is adjustable, so I can have it not just on my middle finger, on my index finger, even on my thumb if I need to. Um, so I can size it a lot more easily, say, than this one, where I'm usually knotting that thread to keep the sizing consistent. That way I'm not having to adjust it constantly. But those are three types of thimbles that you might try out if you are new to hand sewing, wanting to protect your hands, your fingers, your skin. Yeah, that is my Tuesday tool tip today on thimbles. Let me know what style thimble you use if you do choose to use a thimble or if you don't. I know that um, there are a lot of people on both sides of this issue, so let me know your thoughts on them if you have any recommendations, and feel free to share what else you keep in your hand sewing basket. Have a great day.